So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a lobby bot by using any name that you want for the lobby bot. And this will be really useful for trolling your friends and making it seem like you have all the OG skins and unreleased skins on your account. And it's really cool because you can also use this for your YouTube videos, TikTok videos, and anything like that to showcase unreleased skins. So before we start the video, make sure to like the video if you've not already. Let's try to hit 150 likes on this video if we can, that'd be amazing. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one and more lobby bot videos coming in the future. So the first step to get this lollibot is you want to go over to epicgames.com and you want to make sure to create a brand new Fortnite account that's not your main account and just create this on this account by doing sign up and then make sure you're logged in and you can do this on a computer or a phone. Now once you do that head on over to our discord server link is in the description and then once you do that head on down to the create atomic channel and this is going to help you create your lollibot. So in this channel you see this message right here so just type in right over there just type in a exclamation point start. Now, once you type this in, wait about five seconds and then you'll get a DM from the bot. So you see that I just got that up here. So just click on that right there. And then once you've done that, you'll see that you get a control panel right here. And this will give you a couple options. So the first one is going to be the login option. So we just click on this button first. And that is going to take you just to epicgames.com. So now you just want to confirm that you're logged in with your alt account and not your main account. Just look up on the top right. If you're logged in with another account, that's great. And now you can head back over to Discord again. And then just click on the second link, which is right here. Just click on the click here button. And then once you click on that, it'll take you over to this page. And you'll see a couple things on this page. You don't have to worry about any of these. Just copy the entire contents of the website. So just copy that. Head back over to Discord and then just paste in the contents of that website just like that and send it to the chat. Now once you've done that, the Atomic Bot will be created and it'll give you a huge panel, Lollibot panel, and now you can start using your Lollibot. So the first step that you want to do once you get your Lollibot is you want to log in to Fortnite on whatever device you want to use. You could do a PC, mobile, console, Switch, or pretty much any device that you want, and then head on over to Fortnite. So once you're in Fortnite, head on over to the top and you'll see your Ads Friends menu. And once you get over there, you can head back over to Discord and you'll, you can just check out the name of your Lollibot. So mine, I made the name as Lollibot Season 2. So if you're on PC, you can just copy and paste that. Or if you're on console, you can just type it in. So just head on over to Add Friends section, type in the name, and then just press Enter. And now you can click on the bot and just add it as a friend. And now you just got to head back over to Discord and you'll see a friend request from the bot. So just click on check if that is your username, click on the check mark. And then once you do that, you will have the Lollibot as your friend in Fortnite. So now you can head back down over here to your friends menu and you should see the bot in this friends menu. So you can see right over here, this is the bot. Just click on it, click on the invite to party button and then head back over to Discord one more time and it'll say that you got a party invite. So just click on the check button and that will join your party. So now the bot is in your party, just like this. And now you can start using the bot for whatever you want. So since this video is mainly for trolling by changing the name of the bot to make it look like you are actually controlling the bot and you are actually the bot, the best way to troll people is by hiding all the people in your party except for the bot. So just click on the manage button right here. And then once you made the bot your party leader, just head back over to Discord and then type in A exclamation point hide. Now once you type this, this will hide all of the people in the party who are not the lobby bot and you'll look like you are actually the lobby bot. So if you want to make this even better for trolling, you can make the lobby bot's name the same as your Fortnite name and this will help you do trolling and anything else like that. So now you have the lobby bot, you can control it with any of the commands that are in the Discord. So there's a ton of commands over here, they're all listed. They all have what the command does on the right side. So you can just read through these if you're confused. So I'll just be showing a few of them. So the first one that's best for trolling is you might wanna change the level on your bot to match the level that you are in Fortnite. So you can make this something like level 15 or something, just something realistic, whatever you wanna do with it. Type in A exclamation point level and then just type in 15. And this will change the level from 999 to just 15 right here. Now once you've done that, this will change the level and now you can change the skin, back bling, and all of that on your bot. So the first thing you might wanna do is you might wanna change the skin. So if you wanna make it something OG, you could make it something like the Renegade Raider. Type in A exclamation point skin and then just type in Renegade Raider. 
Now once you've typed that in, the skin in the Fortnite lobby will change to the Renegade Raider. But you'll also see that the Renegade Raider has the backpack on. So if you want to take off that backpack, just type A, exclamation point backpack, and then just type in none. And that will take away the backpack, just like this. So the next thing that you can do is you might want to change the emote. This is what a lot of people want to do. So just type in A exclamation point emote and this will do something like the floss, something simple like that. And then that will do the floss in your lobby, just like that. So if you want to change the style in the Renegade Raider, just type in A exclamation point style and then Renegade Raider. And this will give you all the style options for that specific skin. And you can do this for any skin that you want in the entire game. So you can see right over here, we got the two styles, default and checkered. So if you want to make it the checkered style, just type two, because it says type two to equip. Just press enter on that. And then you'll change the style to the checkered style. So once you've done that, you'll see in your lobby that you'll have the checkered version of the Renegade Raider. So if you want to change your bot skin to something in the battle pass, something unreleased, like maybe you want to change it to this Prowler skin right here. It says it's coming in 26 days. So if you change to this skin, this would actually be an unreleased skin as of right now. So if you want to change to that skin, just go back over here into the Discord, type A exclamation point skin, and then just type in Prowler. And then this will change into the Prowler skin. Just like you can see right here. So you can use this to troll people because you'll have an unreleased skin. So there's a lot of other commands that are unique to this bot and you can try them out on your own and they'll all be in the party command section. So you can try all these out if you want to and use them and troll your friends. There's a lot of cool commands over here. If you have any questions, just ask them in the discord. So lastly, if you want to stop the bot and turn it off, just type A exclamation point stop and then this will stop the bot and you can create a new one after you've done this. So once you stop the bot, you will have no more bot in your lobby and it'll leave your party and you can make the bot again later if you want. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.